Yeah, um, how in a day, my fans? Well, um, I just want to talk about um, this mobile debt. You know, I've been seeing a lot of videos, a lot of people doing all kinds of video, talking all kinds of things about the death of mobile well you know this guy i will not say i haven't heard about him i've heard little about him but i will say i don't know i don't know if i see the his picture i wouldn't know this person that i wouldn't know the person or i wouldn't know him as more bad but i've heard his music very very well because uh that um uh, that one that popular one that um uh, you know that music was one of his music i knew very well and um ajinomoto you know that one he sang uh, ajinomoto that kind of thing is it um is it peace or uh feel good or something like that the reason why i'm doing this video is that i want to talk about legacy no matter what you are doing in this life, make sure that you place a legacy. Legacy means what people will remember you of. The good you have done, the bad you have done. But it is good for you to leave a good legacy. And because um, his death Mobile debt unravel a lot of things, which shows that the debt looks like unnatural to me because the way the things have been seen on on Inst uh, on social media, the videos the guy have been doing, all kinds of video, all kinds of things have been seen. And it shows that there are people after him. There are people after him. And uh, my question is, who are the people after him? What are the police doing? Because if the police tell, if the police say that they are investigating, okay, I think with all this evidence because with everything i'm seeing unraveling on social media is an easy trace to know where all this problem or the death of this guy came from because this death is not natural do you know why the reason why i'm trying to make this video is because of i see a young talented guy who is trying to make out a living for himself and um it's so unfortunately that some group of people, some guys or some gang or some people I don't know, they don't shot in his life. But I hope the police need to do the right thing. Uh, as I'm hearing some rumor that um, um, they need to do autopsy to know what leads to his death. The, the police need to investigate very, very well because something is wrong somewhere. Yeah, something is wrong somewhere. But it's so unfortunately that his death makes him so more popular. Because just as I said before, if I see his picture, I will know that this is more bad. I will know him. I don't know him. But I have heard his song, that popular song, Opopa, OPP, Opopa. I've heard that song very, very well. It's a nice song, but it's so painful that i call it fame after death the moment he died he start he, he, he start gaining popularity people start knowing him people start hearing more about him but it hurt me so bad that this guy with the kind of video i'm saying it shows that this guy have been battling with mental health, depression, and 
intimidation from some group of guys because there's some video you see you see some bruises on his face who are the people beating him this guy is a celebrity if you like it or not he's a celebrity it's just like um rema now rema is a young boy or a young guy talented guy full of life and a group of guys start molesting Rema. Do you want to tell me that if Rema complained to Don Jazzy that there are a group of guys molesting him, are you trying to tell me that um, Don Jazzy will not take up that case? Don Jazzy will take up take up that fight for Rema. So why his boss, Malian, Naira Mali, not helping him to fight up those fights those people that are insulting him fighting uh more bad why is naira mali not helping out it shows that something is wrong somewhere it shows that something is wrong somewhere and now this young man is gone all we can say, uh, he's a brother, he's a friend, he's a blah, blah, blah. The pe people are coming out to say blah, blah, blah. What were you people doing when he was fighting those depression? Those mental health, those, those time he was screaming, people want to fight him, people, want, people are beating him, people are molesting him, some people want to hurt him. What are the friends doing that time? You people did nothing. And it's so painful that for him, of for him being exposed in the mu music industry he's supposed to speak out why didn't he report to the police why didn't he report to the police that look at what is happening to me look at what is going on at least by now the police will have said okay we have gotten a report from you or so so like this but not oh it's so bad i feel so bad the reason why i don't feel like let me just do this video is that this guy is a young man a young man, 27 years of age, full of talent. Now they have cut his life short. More bad is gone. And now his music is now raining everywhere. Popular everywhere. Life after death. Fame after death. Popularity after death. You people are now playing his music. You people are now making him famous. What did you do when he was alive? What contribution did you do to help him? That is why I always tell you people. Know the people you put around you. Know the kind of friends you put around you. Know the kind of people you mingle with. Know the kind of people you share ideas with. Because when you are falling, they will be the one to hold you. Now he put the wrong people beside him. Because they refused to help him. They refused to defend him. They refused to fight for him. When he was falling, when he was going through depression. When he was going through mental health. Because the moment you start going through mental health and um, you can fight it out. You start doing you start taking substance. That is the next thing. You find you see yourself taking substance. I think it is right. It is, I think it's right time for our federal government to make every institution get more institution, open more institution where people can start getting mental health solution. Yes, they to start getting mental health solution. A lot of people are going through the same thing this man went through before he died. A lot of people are going through it. A lot of people are going through depression. Yes, because the moment you find that you can't meet up, up to your expectation, you can't meet up to your target, you can't meet up to your to your aim. You, you are not meeting up, you are not meeting up with the, with your target. You find out that you are going down, you are depressed. It is Right time would take depression and mental health serious because 
if you can't fight it before you know you start you start taking substance and the moment you are used to substance you are gone you are gone it is right time people start speaking the moment you find that you are going through things like this speak out so that you can get help from people you can get help from people surrounding you or beside you or around you i feel so bad i don't talk about things like this but i don't feel so bad for the death of mobad yes it's a young talented guy i've seen a lot of video because you can't pretend not to see it because the moment you scroll on your internet or your social media your facebook twitter instagram anywhere you you don't find you always see his picture people are posting it everywhere you can't deny i'm not i can't deny i'm not seeing it that is why i have to say something what are the police doing the police have to do something they need to start getting people arrested they need to start getting people arrested a lot of names are coming out a lot of evidence are out there they need to start getting people arrested who is that nurse that injected him? Who, which hospital did they take him to? Which sickness is he suffering for? Who, a lot of questions are to be asked. Why did they bury him on time? I was told he's not a, he's not a Muslim. He's a Christian or something like that. He's not a Muslim. So, because only Muslim that can bury within, within 12 hours. They bury that person or within 24 hours they, they bury that person but as a christian you can stay how long you it depends on when you are ready things like this you don't need to rush let them find the problem how did it happen whose people who are the people involved in the death of mobad the police need to start doing something the police need to start arresting those people that bring down this man because these guys have so many videos he cried a lot so many videos where he cried a lot shows that something is wrong somewhere nara male as his boss i he did nothing to help this guy out of his problem neither i it just it seems like he is also involved in this but i don't want to say he's involved but I, he can, I, you can't tell me that you sign it, your your boys are going through things like this and you can't help him out. Just as I've used Don Jazz as an example. Rem and I can't go through this thing and now um, Don Jazz now will keep quiet and watch Rema to go through all this thing because Rema is under John ja Don Jazzy. People need to start speaking. People are people who are around this man. This guy need to start talking. People need to start speaking out. That is all I have to say. People need to start speaking out. And the police need to start arresting those involved. They should, a lot of evidence are out there. We can't continue like this. We can't continue like this. Okay, guys. In fact, police make me start to do now work. Make me start to arrest people. Enough is enough for all these things. Enough.